Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to everyone. Now we are still under unit 9, a heart of gold grammar. Yeah, uh, for today we are going to discuss about grammar. Alright, you can refer to your textbook page 90. Now let's uh, begin. Alright. Now, the objective for today is by the end of the lesson, pupils should be able to use either or and neither nor correctly. Right, either or and neither nor are correlative conjunctions. It's a part of conjunction atau dalam bahasa Melayu uh, kata hubung. Correlative conjunctions link two words or phrases of equal value from two sentences to form one sentence. So, menghubungkan dua perkataan atau fraza yang sama erti daripada dua ayat menjadi satu ayat. Okay, for example, so we have here two sentences. You can go left. Number two, you can go right. Boleh ke kiri, boleh ke kanan. So, how to make us into one sentence? How to change these two sentences into one by using either or or neither nor? Which one do we need to choose? Now, for this sentence, we are going to choose either or. You can go either left or right. Boleh pergi ke kiri atau ke kanan. So, it means that we are giving choices. Boleh pergi ke kiri atau ke kanan. Alright? Now, next. So, here we have another two more sentences. They are not my schoolmates. They are not my friends. Mereka bukan rakan sekolah saya. Mereka bukan kawan saya. So, how to make it into one sentence? Right? So, we for this matter, we are using neither nor. Right? So, it... So, our sentence should be, They are neither my schoolmates nor my friend. Mereka adalah bukan rakan sekolah saya dan bukan juga kawan saya. So, it means that both are not your friends or your schoolmates. Bukan dua-dua. Bukan dua-dua. Means that here is... Now, look at the uh, the example, the, uh, the sentences that I gave you. They are not. Are not. That is a negative point. Uh, Sentence, right? So both are negative sentences. So how to change it into uh, into one sentence using neither no? They are neither my schoolmates nor my friends. Okay. Right now, next one. I did not go to the birthday party. I did not go to the wedding. You are not going to the birthday party or the wedding. All right. So for this matter, you can say. I went neither to the party nor the wedding. Saya pergi bukan ke party dan bukan juga ke majlis perkahwinan itu. Alright, now. So, join sentences using either or or neither nor. Okay, now. Number one until number six. Number one. You can have tea. You can have coffee. Number two, Najmi does not play football. Najmi does not play badminton. Number three, she plans to make pasta for dinner. She plans to make soup for dinner. Number four, he is not watching the movie on the television. He is not watching the movie on the laptop. Number five, my mother was not at home. My sister was not at home. Number six, my family might go to Penang for a holiday. My family might go to Singapore for a holiday. So we have six exercises. All right. So each uh, each uh, exercise they give you two sentences. So now from these two sentences, you are going to turn it into one sentence by using either or or neither no. Now let's discuss number one. You can have tea. You can have coffee. So for this matter, we are using either or. You can you can either have tea or coffee. Right? Okay. Look at number two. Najmi does not play football. Najmi does not play badminton. Right? So 
if you are writing into one sentences, not will place neither football nor badminton. Okay, means that Najmi doesn't play both of them. Right, next, number three, she plans to make pasta for dinner. She plans to make soup for dinner. Right, so you when you change it into a, a one sentence, right, it will become she plans to make pas either pasta or soup for dinner. Right, number four, he is not watching the movie on the television. He is not watching the movie on the laptop. So your sentence should be, he watches the movie on neither the television nor the laptop. Right, next, my mother was not at home, my sister was not at home. So you can say, neither my mother nor my sister were home. Why we use were here? Instead, in each sentences, they use only one. Uh, they use was because of in this one sentence in our sentence we have mother and sister. So neither my mother nor my sister were home. So we have two. Okay, now number six. My family might go to Penang for a holiday. My family might go to Singapore for a holiday. So. It, the, uh, the best answer is my family might go to either Penang or Singapore for a holiday. Sama ada Penang ataupun Singapura. So I hope you understand how to use either or and neither nor. So that's all from, uh, from me. Alright, so stay tuned with the exercises that I'm going to share in the WhatsApp. Alright, alright, take care everyone. Bye bye for now. Bye.